Hi everyone, hope you're all well. I've been working on a fairly difficult target recently. I'd look up in the Cygnus region, found a very small target called the Celestial Snow Angel. Uh, it's SH2106. I'd seen some Hubble pictures of this which were absolutely amazing. But when I've looked around there's not much else about, even on Astra Bin there's not many images, so I thought I'd give it a go. And I've been working on it for a few nights and I'd like to share with you my final image. So stick around and uh, I'll share that with you at the end. My name's Glenn and you're watching Astra Bloke. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So unfortunately, I've not been able to do a lot of content of recent times because there's some big changes afoot. We are moving. So we sold our home and we've bought a new home. And one of the most exciting things for me is we'll be moving from a Bortle 6 to a Bortle 4. And to say I'm excited is an understatement. There's not even any street lights where we're moving to. I just cannot wait, it's, I'm really excited. So there's a lot of work to be done um, and we're in the process of moving, which anybody that's moved in the UK, you know that's a, a long-winded and stressful situation. So let's hope it all goes smooth and uh, I won't be too long before I'm reporting from a new location. Please bear with me. I will try and keep giving you content. I've got some images to share with you that I've been working on. So hopefully there will still be videos coming out, but there might be a small period of time where there's a lack of videos because I'm really busy elsewhere. But I um, hope you can understand that. So the Celestial Angel SH2106 is about 2000 light years away from Earth. It's not a large target uh, compared to some targets that we image. And although I had the 1200 millimeters reach with the CT10, it was still really small and I had to crop in quite a lot. What I found was because of the uh, heaviness of the crop I was doing, the, 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 the uh, data, the information was getting very muddied um, and I wasn't getting much detail. And I wanted to get the detail on this because it's quite an interesting target. It's a really uh, powerful young star uh, emitting off gases and it's sort of blowing in two directions. So it's giving off like a bipolar image. It's coming out either side and it's quite stunning to look at. And if you've not seen the Hubble image of this, I'll show you it now. It's a real wow and you can see why it's called the Celestial Snow Angel. Very difficult for me to capture with the equipment I've got, but I've given it my best attempt. So I've actually been working on this target over several nights, and tonight is due to be clear, and I'm gonna finish off. I wanna get some RGB stars. Uh, whenever I've done the editing, I've had a bit of an issue with the stars that's come from the narrow band. Normally they're not too bad, but these ones seem to be causing me a little bit of an issue. So I'm gonna take some 60 second RGB stars and I'm going to extract them and then add them to the SHO image so that we get nicer stars basically. Um, I recently shared a star technique that I use uh, with my channel members and people that support me on Patreon. Just as an extra thank you to those people, I have more exclusive videos I'm making for you guys because I really do appreciate that extra support you give me. So if any of you are considering supporting the channel that little bit more with the uh, join button or on Patreon, please do. It really does help and it's really appreciated. And of course, you'll get some exclusive content from me. Also, I'm sharing data. So I've got some more raw data that I'm going to upload that you can then also have and you can play with it, make your own images, do whatever. But uh, it's my way of saying thank you to you for supporting the channel. 
and really without your support it would be very difficult to keep it going so thank you okay so that's enough of me chatting let's go and have a quick look at the equipment we're going to use for tonight and get this imaging session on the way okay so for my project i'm going to be using my very trusty orion optics uk ct10 uh, 1200 millimeters and f 4.8 absolute brilliant scope and since i've had this in on my observatory i've just it's been a dream turn it on the eq8 has been an amazing mount um, just guides without me even to do anything it basically just gives me 0.4 guiding pretty much every night no questions asked absolutely fantastic um, the camera I'm going to be using is the 2600 mm Pro, and that's on the 36 uh, unmounted filters by Antlia. I've got the uh, Sulfur 2, Oxygen 3, Hydrogen Alpha, and I've got the LRGB Pro V filters by Antlia as well. A really nice set of filters, do a great job. Um, we've got the uh, ZWO EAF automatic focuser keeping an eye on all the focusing through Nina. And the guiding is actually being done by an off-axis guider. It's the off-axis guider large, uh, which bolts onto the 36 millimeter uh, unmounted filter wheel. The camera bolts one side, the uh, OAG bolts the other, and it's a really nice solid setup. I've got the 290mm by ZWO in there doing the guiding, does an excellent job and uh, everything works really well. So I'm gonna be doing 10 minute subs on the Sulfur 2, Hydrogen Alpha and Oxygen 3. And for the RGB stars, I'm just gonna do 60 seconds of RGB and I'll just stick out a few hours of that, maybe about three hours of them, just to get a nice, really nice star field, good star colors, and then um, I can uh, then add them in. So the observatory um, that I've been working out of for uh, well, quite some time now is uh, going to need to be dismantled soon. Um, I'm going to be, well, yeah, it's going to be a job, but I'm going to be worried when I haven't got it. Uh, I won't be able to remote in and do me observe, you know, my uh, imaging when I'm away. So um, it's all going to be taken down, and I'm going to rebuild it at my new home, at a new location, and it will be there for a while while I make my plans for something a bit more permanent. So in the future, I've uh, had a chat with my wife, she's very understanding and she knows this is my passion. And uh, so uh, she's said, yep, you just get whatever you want. So I'm gonna get uh, a much larger observatory built, and have a bit of space. I actually want two piers and two mounts working. I want a warm room. I, mean, I want everything, but we'll see how that goes. It's going to take me a little while to get it all there, but I'll document it, I'll share it with you, so that if you want to do something similar, then hopefully you can learn something from what I've done or look at my mistakes or look at better ways of doing things. Um, I'm sure I'm going to be reaching out for some ideas, so uh, stay tuned. Right then, I'm going to get this all parked up and put away. Uh, We've got a couple of hours yet till uh, it starts to get dark enough for us to do any imaging. And uh, yeah, we'll get everything put away and uh, we'll get ourselves uh, ready for tonight's uh, data collection and uh, hopefully we'll get it all put together. I'm really gonna miss this setup uh, while it's um, gonna be temporarily uh, taken apart. Not sure what I'm going to do. I'm going to end up twiddling my thumbs, I think. <laughs> 